Well, now to a story developing in Cleveland. The investigation is underway after a police-involved shooting. This happened late last night after two men robbed a 16-year-old, and police shut down Sandusky Avenue for several blocks while they looked into what happened. News Channel 5's Justin Michaels has been working on this story all night, and he's live with what he's learned this morning. Justin, good morning. What's going on? Yeah, good morning, Pete and Kim. This is a very involved story. We have been covering it all night long since right after it happened last night around 11 o'clock. Let me tell you what happened. First of all, we do know that the Cleveland Division of Police Use of, of Deadly Force is investigating this entire thing because this was a police involved shooting. Now, here's some video of the scene last night. It happened around 10 50 at East 106 in Sandusky. 16 year old Tyshawn Johnson was sitting in his uh, father's minivan. His dad was rehabbing a house, probably a, a rental property. Property of some kind when two black males, a 26 year old and a 51 year old, approached the car. They eventually carjacked the car and the young man, 16 year old Deshaun Johnson. And they told Deshaun to remove his pants and give them his cell phone. And as they were driving away, they came across a fourth district police officer that, of course, startled the two men. They pushed Deshaun Johnson out of the car, and the kid then yelled for the police. He needed help, so it was good for him to do that. Now, at that point, they sped off, and eventually they jumped out of the car and began to fire at the police officers. The police officers fired back. The two men eventually ran and hid in some yards and were eventually arrested and taken into custody. We do know that nobody was hurt in this, uh, this incident, so that's very good news. And that's all the information we have about this right now. Again, Cleveland police are investigating this, and as we get more information, we, of course, we're going to bring it to you on air and also online, newsnet5.com. Reporting live for you, I'm Justin Michaels. Pete and Kim, back into you now. All right, thanks so much for that update, Justin.